Hi, I'm Aiman. Welcome back to another one of my review and first impression videos. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing and giving my first impression of this fire pit that here we bought for uh, Father's Day. So we bought this fire pit for my dad. It's kind of hard to find gifts for my dad because he always buys stuff for himself. And we figured like a fire pit is something that he uses pretty often, but he's really like like stubborn about replacing things like grills or stuff. And we figured that something like a fire pit would be perfect for him to get for Father's Day. So this is a Bali outdoor fire pit. That's the brand, Bali. And it costed about $160 or $170 on Amazon. And well, let's get the first view. So the cool part about this uh, uh, fire pit is that Okay, first off, well, the dimensions of it is that it's 32 inches wide. This fire pit right here is 24 inches wide. And then it has a sort of grill on top that's about 18 inches wide. And that's really the, the reason that we bought it. It has that grill so that my dad can roast things like saute on top of it. And when we assemble it, I'll show you what exactly that looks like. But first, let me get everything out. Around the rim of the fire bowl, it has these plates here. I'm not sure what you'd use them for, maybe for putting drinks or feet on them. It also has a, uh, I'm not sure if this is the poker or, it also has a, uh, a little metal wire frame in the middle of the fire pit so that you can stack logs in like, in the correct way. You don't have to put logs like facing flat. You'll see when I put this assemble it. Let's see what this is, I don't know what this is. Oh yeah, so this is the, the triangular frame. This is supposed to be where you put the logs leaning on. And they just have a block of styrofoam. That's very interesting. This is the grill that goes on top. Let me put this down. This is the grill. It's about 18 inches in diameter and it swivels. This is the warranty information and the manual. Okay, we'll, we'll take a look at this off camera. And here, I am not sure what this is. We'll take a look at it off camera. Um, something inside here. We got the screws here. And finally, the fire pit. And then after this, then we'll cut. <laughs> There we go. So here's the fire pit. Pretty deep. It's about maybe a foot deep, maybe 10 inches, eight inches deep. But that's the bottom of it, side view. And now we're going to assemble it. All right, so we're doing a bit of measurements and it turns out that this is exactly uh, a foot deep. So I was, under, I was underestimating it, I said eight. This is actually a foot deep. Um, this is definitely 24 inches wide and with the ring on, it's probably going to be 32. Uh, there's also some stuff under here. These are the rings that go on the outside. So we're going to do the assembly. Uh, let me just make sure I get everything out, uh, out first. set to go. Let's talk about the fire pit. It's very big. When my mom first saw it, she was like, wow, it's basa, which in Malay means it's, it's big. So she was like, oh yeah, that's pretty sturdy. Like, let's see, like, to her, it looks okay. But according to my dad, it looks like um, it's not going to be really strong. And it's also like very thin. And I remember seeing on Amazon that a lot of the comments were saying that the fire pit was thinner than I expected. But let's get to the assembly. The first thing we need to do is we need to attach these legs. And on the legs, they have bolts with nuts already um, uh, attached. So we're going to take off these nuts and then we're going to screw them on. 
So we're going to speed up me taking them off with my Milwaukee. I have tons of videos with the Milwaukee, so if you should, you should go check it out. It's in... I... Well, before we speed it up, I will say that um, I don't think they gave us any tools or wrenches or screws in the package. So, or I, I looked in the, the box, I couldn't really find anything. So, if you guys get this fire pit, you might need to uh, have your own tools beforehand. washers on the tops of these and we'll get the instructions uh, I'm not sure if the washer goes on the inside of the bowl or the outside I might have to con consult an expert opinion for that and the diagram does not help either all right I consulted expert opinion and I'm starting to see it actually this line here represents the bowl so that means that the washer is actually on the inside of the bowl oh, zombies outside Zami, you want to help me install this uh, fire pit? No. What? The, luckily you got it. Indoor. Ah. Oh. Oh. oh yeah, I need to fix the camera. Oh. Alright. So now we took the bolts on. We're gonna tighten them by hand first. Looks like Zami Hut is having more luck with tightening it by hand. Okay. And we're gonna first we're gonna tighten them all by hand and then we're gonna go back and tighten them with the Milwaukee. I just need to keep adjusting the leg to make sure the entirety of it goes inside. I'm going to do all four legs and then tighten them with the Milwaukee. You want me to help me out? No. Huh? Okay, so you, you take that leg, I'll take this leg. Make sure you take the washers out, and then stick them in after. Oh, it's the screws. Screws? Right. Here you go. It's not going to be perfect with uh, it on the ground. Okay. Thanks for the help, Azan. What do you think we do next? Um, we do something with those things. With what? Those things. What? These things. Dang, that's right. That's what it says on the instructions. And we'll tell you this at the end. Maybe if you look at the uh, picture, picture of the, uh, the fireplace, you can get an idea. Yeah. They go here. Yeah. So they, these use uh, these kinds of bolts. There you go. Take, take half of them, I'll take the other half. They also have these screws up on, on the inside, so you might have to loosen them. You want the big screwdriver or the, bump, the small screwdriver? I'll give you the big one. Does it really matter? Do it this way? 
how you do it this way. Yes. You can see that this way, you have to orient it so that the sides, the slope of this, makes makes it so that the, the ring is flat. So if you installed it this way, and you put it on the leg, this would be vertically. So just make sure you have it in the right orientation. And then make sure you unscrew that. Right there, unscrew it. Hold on, I'm gonna unscrew it. Huh? Actually, you can, you can probably do that later. The, the the nuts the bolts for, these are screws but they call them bolts uh, which you know it's a hot debate these days what's a screw and what's a bolt leave your comment leave a comment down below what you think the difference between a bolt and a screw is but I think the difference between a bolt and a screw is probably the head if it has something on the inside then it's a screw if it has something on the outside then it's a bolt but that's what that's something that some people say other people say that it depends on the bottom if the bottom is sharp that means it's a screw if the bottom is flat that means it's a bolt it's up to you, you know. If you say screw or bolt and you describe what it looks like, then people are going to know what you're talking about. All right, so I was describing to Azami earlier. Um, we need to take these screws out so that we can insert them into here. And that's also why these are not fully screwed in, so that we can adjust the screws. I have a terrible screwdriver for this, but I've dealt with worse. Azami has actually a bigger screwdriver, so he's had, he has it easier than me, not to flex on him or anything. These are M5 screws, and they're supposed to become. There's supposed to be four of these that come with the, the package, and actually. Oh, I mean, screwed this. Yeah, I did. Check. You should probably screw it back in. Four of them did come with the package, but these are extra. So these are actually extra for these ones that already come pre installed on the ring. So I remember seeing on Amazon that people said that they had four extra screws, and I was thinking, like, yeah, usually you have extra screws because they're usually replacement screws because the screws are easy to lose. But these are literally just extra screws. They don't need these. Hopefully I don't get proven wrong later in the video when we do need them. But I do believe that these screws are the same as these ones. So these are extra screws. Anyway, now we're going to tighten the screws that attach them to the leg as well as the screws that attach the rings together. Not the heavy, everybody's going to your leg. Oh, you can use a Phillips piece. No way. Side here. 
it, there's two possible ways to do it. Say what? Yeah. So we use nuts two securities. So here you go. This goes on the side. It almost seems like they're too big for the hole. But it is a go. How do you tighten these? How do you tighten it? You need to tighten, tighten them. Tighten them by hand. All the way. Uh, for now, let's just uh, put them um, as much as we can. Looks like it doesn't go all the way. Okay. So we're going to tighten them as much as we can. Loosen them after. Because what we're going to do after is we're going to connect them together on the edge. So here's Ami. You take two. Take the bolts off of them. I mean the nuts off of them. And then slide them. I mean connect them by their edges. You're in nuts and bolts. Huh. Well, that's gonna be interesting. When you put them together, they're not completely flat. Does, does it matter which direction I do it? No. But we want we want symmetry. Symmetry doesn't exist on the atomic level. They're not actually symmetric. It's simple biology. But what about metachirality? Huh? I don't know. I haven't taken OCHEM. Yeah, I don't know what that word means. It would be really bad if we dropped one of the uh, bolts down the side of the plywood. On the sand. That would be very good. And that's what the extra screws are for. We don't have any extra screws, actually. Oh! Those aren't the same screws, actually. But actually, they might work. They're made of metal. As long as it works. Yeah, so, first P we've encountered while building this. These table panels do not sit flat with each other. And it would have been good if they put a hole towards the center on the inside where you could connect them using these four extra screws. Then you'd have a use for these extra screws because at least with that, then you'd be able to make them sit flat with flush with each other, but they don't have holes here, so we can't connect them. But, you know, it's good enough for my dad, which, you know, if, if, if it's a Father's Day present, I guess it's good enough, but I'm just kind of really peeved by that. Anyway, next up is to put the cooking grate stand in. Tell me, which way do you think this goes in? I don't know. Give it a guess. I don't even know where it goes. Look at the bar. Oh, this one. Is there a direction? Oh, this one has a hole in it. Is there a hole there? It goes like this. Oh, but would the hole go in there? Remember, the uh, this is supposed to swivel. What's this? That thing? Yeah. Oh, it's not good. This also has a, a hole in it. Then it goes like this, because that's the only other option. <laughs> <laughs> that was a leading question. Here you go. So it just tightens by. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's this one's an actually important wing nut because then it's supposed to be adjustable. Yeah. So this is supposed to be height and adjustable as well as swivel adjustable. So I don't tighten. Yeah. Unless I'm wrong. Wait. Why would you be wrong? Why is there a hole in it? Um, to put these things. Now that I think about it, these things probably. Oh, maybe it's they just screw that attached to something. Oh, that's a poker. The poker is a uh, separate. Why is there a hole in the this? Why is this hole here? Does that go where the wing bolt is supposed to go? Cause this is supposed to be height adjustable, so it's it's not always supposed to be here. And if it, if it goes at the bottom, like, maybe it does go at the bottom. 
Maybe you're right about Or you can put this on top and put the screw under. No, that doesn't work. Maybe it does go at the bottom. Like, why else would this be here? It has to be. Is there even a screw? I know you didn't know. No, this goes too deep. Uh. Okay, so we got expert testimony, and this hole right here is so that you can put a rod or a screw so that when you're moving this, it doesn't come out. So if we put this in here, let's put the wing nut in. The idea is that you take another screw, this actually doesn't fit in here, so, you know, bully. So, the, the idea is that if you put a screw in here, and that's what my dad says this, this extra four screws might be for, if you put it in there, um, then it prevents it from coming out. Um, I'm thinking also, you can see that the, the paint is stripped here. So, the paint scratches easily. That if you buy this, you might want to know that. That might be important. But, for now, I don't think that's a good explanation for the four extra screws, because why would they give us four? But, you know, it works. So, I'm going to lift this up as much as I can, and then tighten it over. As you can see, it doesn't go completely center over the flame, but you know, it doesn't need to. It's also made to swivel, so I guess that's another reason why it doesn't go over the flame. But that's how it looks like. It looks like the actual bar swivels, so it might not be tight enough. Okay, there we go. Now this swivels. Anyway, as the zombie showed, you want to talk about it? You want to talk about? Um, this thing goes down here. It holds the logs to clearing the island. Yeah, and what? Why do you think it, it's useful? Um, it's useful to hold the logs. Yeah, it holds the logs in a in a way that makes the fire better. But anyway, I, I noticed that the actual cooking grate is actually not flat. That's alright, um, if you're called a uh, heat music, if, if, you're cook the <laughs> if you're cooking, you're probably gonna put it on something else, because like, if you put it directly on this, it would be unsanitary. That's okay. I mean, with this thing, and this thing, you know, those are like small different nitpicks. But anyway, is there anything else that we need to do, Zami? Um, no. That's it. Mm -hmm. And the last thing to do is to uh, go back over all the bolts and make sure they're all tight. But right now, it looks like everything is sturdy. All right, Zami, what do you think? Zami? What do you think? It looks good. It looks good? Matt, what do you think? I'd probably just make a fire pit out of stone. This is a lot for a fire pit. And a lot of people on Amazon were saying that their fire pit only lasted one and a, or two years. And a reason for that might be because there's no drainage at the bottom. People might have left it outside. The only drainage you probably have is here and here, but in the center there's no drainage holes. So if you have this in places where it might rain a bit, it would be a good idea to cover this. Um, because it, it seems like this might not this might not be built to last, so you have to make it last. Alright, so we figured since we already took a ton of clips for assembly, we're just gonna make this its own standalone assembly video, and then we'll do our first impressions in the next video. We're gonna put some fire in here and see how it works. And then maybe we can offer some tips for that whole drainage situation. So if you wanna figure out how to fix that whole no water no holes at the bottom, meaning that water is gonna sit there. Then uh, go check out that next video. Right, Tommy? Do you want to do the closing? Hey, the closing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm Ayman. I'm Zami. And thanks for watching. Today we assembled this Bali outdoor fireplace or fire pit, not fireplace, for my dad as a 
uh, Father's Day gift, right? Mm-hmm. Zombie took uh, took most of the uh, took most of the weight for that payment, right? Yeah. How many did this cost? Never mind. I would think you paid for it then. <laughs> uh, I don't know how much I paid relative to uh, how much it cost. It costed 160. And how many people paid? <laughs> Me, you, and Ma. No, I think we split it evenly. So, so we, so this is for my dad. Hopefully, he likes it. Um, and that's all. See, look at the next. Wait, week. how much did you? Pay? <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Please like and comment, subscribe. Look at other videos on 99, especially the video on the first impressions in the next one. And me and the zombie will see you there. But for now, I'm Ayman. That's the zombie, and signing out. <laughs> Thank you.